I was with the CEO of Crisis, the second largest homelessness charity um, that I've supported as a philanthropist for quite a long time now. Crisis alone, since the beginning of the year, they have seen a 16% increase in homelessness. And we're not even into October. We've not even seen the market correct yet. We've not even seen the impact of the energy rises when we go into this winter. The homelessness charities are predicting things are going to get a lot, lot worse as well because of that knock-on effect, that pressure on landlords. So failure by successive governments not to build enough properties and not to sort out housing policy in an intelligent manner. This is not rocket science to sort it out. We're building 300,000 too few homes every 12 months. It's absolutely outrageous. It's ridiculous. What's then happened is that landlords have then come under pressure because they've been taxed to oblivion. Costs have gone up from mortgages, utility bills, everything else. What happens is the same with all tax. It gets passed on. Fuel duty goes up. You pay more petrol. It's the per it's the end consumer putting fuel in the car that actually pays. It's also the tenant that has to share some of that burden for the landlords because otherwise the landlords are going to go out of business, not be able to pay their mortgages, etc. And what does that do? Puts pressure on social housing, on councils, and then on homelessness. We are in a devastatingly bad situation, I believe, for people, especially at the bottom end of the market, people that are homeless, people that are in jobs, on low wages, that are actually really suffering in these very, very difficult conditions and circumstances.